this story is an origin story, they're calling it, and a prequel. But it's not, um, it, it goes back about eight, I think it takes place eight years previous to the first one. Um, so at least I could play myself. You know, I, I didn't, it, fortunately I could play, I think I could still play eight years younger. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> but um, so, it, and it, again, it fills in the gaps of who, of who she was. And it's also how she meets Specs and Tucker. So, which is a very tantalizing, I mean, it, that's a great part of the story as well, that Lee, Lee has been written a brilliant script, I think. He's totally, even, I think, surpassed even the first two. All right, Lee is the classic triple threat. Director, writer, actor. And I think the writing, he loves to write, but he also loves acting. I know that's, I think that's like one of his first loves. We all know he's never directed. And uh, I think originally he was like, no, nah. because I remember even talking to him about it. And he says, no, nah, yeah, I don't want that to be, the, you know, I, I'm interested in directing, but I'm a, and then what, what Jason Blum said um, is that it wasn't, long after he wrote the script and he started talking about the script, he said, I think I want to direct this. <laughs> because he, he really started to see it unfold in his own eyes. And watching him as a director has really been fabulous. He's, because he is the triple threat, because he understands the way the actor, an actor thinks, because that's what his training is also. And um, he's able to communicate in very colorful ways what he, the feeling he wants for something. The thing that sets Insidious apart, for me, is that it's real situations for real people and real problems. Um, I remember Patrick Wilson said this, which I thought was a brilliant way to describe it, that in the first one, it's a traditional uh, American family with the, two, you know, the, the kids and a, a, you know, a wife who wants to be an artist and a husband who teaches school. And it, it, they're very relatable, a very relatable and loving and, and uh, charismatic family that um, is kind of like a classic that you know, maybe we all want to be on some level. They had a nice house, a good relationship. Um, and then it gets turned on its head. So I think what in si these movies have done on some level, different from um, certainly other horror films, is it's very relatable elements that then go awry. Uh, 